Hey guys, so with Valentine's Day coming up this month, I wanted to give you guys a couple of uh, Disney date ideas on uh, what to do if you have the day off or the night off and you want to spend time with your special someone or if you don't have a special someone, you know, where's a good place to have a girl's night out or, where's it, or a guy's night out, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna make this real quick because I gotta leave for work here soon, so here we go. Okay, so some of my favorite date night um, places to go in the parks would be Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom, absolutely magic, mag magic, 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 magic Kingdom. I cannot stress how much Magic Kingdom is my favorite place to go with your girls or um, you know, with your special guy. Jared and I actually have not had Valentine's Day together since we started dating, um, but I have recommended this to multiple couples um, and most of, multiple groups of single ladies, and um, they all thoroughly enjoyed going out and playing in the parks, and I will tell you that the parks are very, very busy on Valentine's Day. You wouldn't think so, but they are, and if it's a weekend, you can guarantee that they will be busy, especially at night, so just keep that in mind. A night out at Epcot or Hollywood Studios, you know, get some dinner at um, Hollywood Studios. Um, Jared and I, our favorite restaurant is Mama Melrose, which is kind of sad because it's going to be getting, you know, under, going under construction here in a year or so. Um, but, you know, night out, go and see Fantasmic. Or at Epcot, you know, drink around the world or just, you know, have a nice evening by the lake and uh, watch Illuminations. Well, I think Epcot is very, very romantic in my opinion. Jared doesn't like it, but... Dinner on the lake at Disney Springs, my favorite place to eat wherever we are is always closest to the water because I love the water, aka Little Mermaid. And um, there's multiple places along Disney Springs that you can eat along the water. There's the Lava Lounge by Rainforest Cafe. There's the Hangar. The Hangar is a really cool place to go and just get a drink or get a quick little bite to eat. Um, there's the Bow House, but that's like woo, really pricey. But um, even like if you just want to grab something to go and just chill by the water, like there's lots of little seats and little areas you can just kind of lean on the water and just, you know, watch. I think there's a fireworks show that you can see from there as well. So it's a you know, nice little walk around Disney Springs. I will tell you though, if you're going to go eat out anywhere, make sure you get reservations as soon as possible. If anything, what I always do with reservations, make the reservation far in advance if you even think you might want to go. And if you don't end up going, just cancel the day before. As long as it's more than 24 hours before, you can cancel it with no fee at all. So it's better to grab those reservations and then cancel them if you don't want them, then make them last minute and not be able to get them. Or if you don't feel like going out because you're just tired and you don't want to deal with all the mushy gushy couples, my favorite thing to do in college was to have a movie night with my girls. We would order pizza and I would get grape juice, um, sparkling grape juice because we couldn't have wine in the dorms, and um, just sit and watch a movie either watch um, my favorite movie actually to watch when I was single was the Valentine's Day one the one with like Taylor Swift and all the big stars I think it's really really funny just because I like um, stories that intertwine like lots of different relationships and stories amongst other characters how they're all connected but that one I love because it shows Valentine's Day from everyone's perspective that and Taylor Swift's in it there's plenty of things that you can do at the parks. Um, I know that there's several different treats and things that you can get. Um, I don't want to get too far into like different treats and things that you can get. Um, I will tell you though that at, I don't know about the rest of the parks, but I know at Magic Kingdom they have special Valentine's Day colors. Um, there's chocolate, Valentine's Day heart chocolates that you can get in the boxes. They have those at the parks as well. They have different cake pops. All this different stuff that you can get. They, um, I know they push bride and groom strawberries and bride and groom apples. So there's lots of different things that you can get treat wise at the parks. Um, they go all out, believe me. It's for a short period of time though because Valentine's Day isn't like a huge holiday. So if you see something, get it. I'll be making a video of my favorite Valentine's Day things. Um, this video is just for like date ideas and things to do going out. Um, and I will tell you, if you can't get Valentine's Day off or even Valentine's Day night and you can only do like a brunch or a breakfast or something, make it special. Even if it's like not that day of, it has to be the day before or the day after. My parents would sometimes have to do that because my dad had to go on a trip. They would celebrate Valentine's Day early or celebrate it late. You know, do what you can. Like, I think Val Valentine's Day 
it is more about celebrating the people who love you and care about you uh, and the people that you love like mutual love um and it doesn't have to be like a guy or a girl like my dad would always get um, my mom roses and myself roses and then he would get my brother chocolate roses <laughs> um you know like and that just made that made me special like I, even though i didn't have my i, I let you may not know i didn't have a boyfriend until jared and so that made me feel special that my dad loved me enough to get me something and we would always try to go out as a family on valentine's day um because we all loved each other and we had each other um, and even like I said in college, I would celebrate it with my girls. We would go and we'd sit down, watch a funny chick flick, and laugh at the fact that most of us are still single, um, but also love the fact that we are because we get to hang out with each other. So, you know, like this will be Jared's and my second Valentine's Day. Um, both of us are kind of broke at the moment because we're trying to save up for our anniversary trip. Um, but like, even if all I get is a phone call, or just FaceTime him, that'll be worth it. Because Valentine's Day about celebrating love, not about the fact that you're single and you're bitter. And it's okay to be single and bitter because I had those moments. But as long as you don't let it ruin your friendships and the relationships around you. Remember, your time will come. It took me 23, 23, 24. It took me 24 years. So I think it's 24, more or less. It took me a really long time to find my Prince Charming, so you will too. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day and stay tuned for more videos.